Rapid Media presents Rapid Media TV. Scott McGregor here with Rapid Media TV, and I'm at the uh, Cataract Oars booth at Outdoor Retailer with Jake Jones. Man, how was that for a stage name? That's a great name. It's a great. <laughs> I guess uh, you're stuck with it, whether you yeah. like it or not. I don't have. I don't have a choice. That's true. Tell me. Let's get to business here. Tell me a bit about um, Cataracts getting into making paddles. Yes. Or maybe you always have and I just didn't know. We, we've made paddles in the years past um, for various manufacturers, but uh, we decided, decided let's, let's make our own. So we've got uh, a carbon paddle. It's white water, it's the white water industry. We don't have a bent shaft. Uh, all carbon, it's filament wound. Let's talk a little bit about filament wound, because okay. I don't know what, I mean, clearly it's the same technology you're using in your in your raft oars, but what does that mean? What's different between a filament round paddle shaft and the regular carbon shaft? Okay, filament winding is where you're taking strands or filaments of carbon, fiberglass, you can, any type of uh, fiber, you could use Kevlar, and you're, we're pulling it through a resin bath, and then it's being wound on a mandrel. Uh, we can control the angle of the uh, fiber, so that's what gives us our, our uh, flex. And cool texture. And, and cool and texture. Patterns. It gives it the look. Sometimes you have this kind of messier look here, but that's the different angles that you can see in the ore shaft, so that gives you, if we want more flex or less flex, we can control that by the angle with the machine. Right, and that makes it stronger and you can control the flex, is that the idea? Uh, not necessarily stronger in the sense where if you take a, a roll wrap to and you're rolling that, you only have a few angles where you can control right. that. Whereas this, we can, we have a lot more um, control over the process. All right, Tom, sorry, I got you sidetracked. So like, that's filament winding. Great, so that's how you're making shaft. the shaft. Sounds great. Yeah. So that's, we took that same technology with the oars, converted it over to our kayak paddles. You can see on this one, we've got the same, it almost looks exactly the same, just a smaller diameter, which it is, so it makes sense. We, we make these in 24 foot lengths and then we can just cut them down from there. The shaft, the, the shaft, the, the paddles. Well, we can make, a guy asked and earlier said, hey, I need a longer paddle, how about 24 feet? So yeah, we can make this, the shafts longer. Obviously the blades would stay the same. So we have a hybrid fiberglass carbon and then an all carbon shaft. Right, and you were telling me earlier that you figured one you're gonna build up for, for whitewater and then you thought this one maybe would be more appealing for or marketed more for kayak fishermen. Yes, uh, so this one we want to be for the high-end market. It'll just be the one piece. Uh, on the hybrid, it would be more for the kayak fishing industry, which is booming. It's been Absolutely. booming for a year. So. Absolutely, Kayak Angler is our biggest magazine by far. Okay, right. yeah. Uh, on the blade side of things, we've got a foam core and then carbon scan on the outside. When uh, when are you when are you ready to go? Am I looking at prototypes or are you shipping these? Sort of these. Uh, I would just say production January 1, 2015. Yeah, we we've had these out for a while. Sorry, we've had these out for a while, but uh, we just need to get on the ball and get these things out there. Ramp it up for next year and yes. look for cataract paddles near you. I guess. That's correct. Scott McGregor here with Rapid Media TV, hoping you paddle forever. Learn more about Rapid Media's print and digital magazines, International Paddling Film Festival, on-water events, and online store. Visit rapidmedia.com.